सब सतीश थोरेंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉच एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ड्यूलिटी ऑफ द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम या एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन द ड्यूल ऑफ द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द प्राइमल वन नाउ लेट एस सी वट इज लीनियर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम एंड द ड्यूल लीनियर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इट इज अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग टेक्निक इन विच वी सी द objective functions containing of non negative variables which are subject to the constraints of the particular equality or inequality equation form here this is an example which is showing you the objective function and the subject to the constraints there are two constraint constraint present in this particular problem and x1 and x2 are the two decision variables which are restricted by greater than or equal to 0 here dual of the linear problem problem is what every primal linear problem problem has an associated with the another linear problem problem called as a dual one dual of the dual is a primal and vice versa here the primal problem if it is of maximal case its dual will be of minimal case and if the particular problem if its primal is minimal case its dual will be of maximal case now to solve the particular problem your particular lpp should be in the standard form now first is what all the variables which are present in the lpp should be of non negative variables or you can say the non the decision making variables should be of non negative your i have given showing you the example x1 and x2 are the variables in the lpp then it should be restricted by positive sign that is x1 comma x2 is greater than or equal to 0 secondly the second is what for lpp of maximal case all constraint should be of less uh, left hand side should be less than or equal to right hand side type here this is a example which you are showing that objective function in maximal case z is equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 subject to the constraint 3x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 15 and second constraint again it is restricted by the less less than or equal to 10 here the left hand side is less than or equal to right hand side this is for the maximized case and for the minimized case the constraint should be of left hand side should be greater than or equal to right hand side type and after observing this particular some necessary changes which are required for the conversion of the lpp in the standard form for the duality solver if the variable in lpp is unrestricted by the sign it means that it is the particular variable is free one that particular variable we have to replace it by the two new decision variables that in this particular problem in the particular uh, we are observing that the, it is of maximal case and there are two constraints present in this and this particular problem in this the x1 is restricted by the particular sign but x2 is unrestricted by the sign so to convert this particular standard problem in the standard form i have to replace this particular x2 by two new decision variables that is x3 and x4 and this is replaced by the difference between it now objective function maximal case z is equal to 5x1 plus 2 x2 minus x4 subject to the constraint 3x1 plus 5x uh, 5 multiplied by x3 minus x4 less than or equal to 15 similarly for the second constraint also i will replace x2 by the new decision variables finally i have to represent here the restriction for that particular uh, old variable and the newly replaced variable in place of x2 that's why x1 comma x3 comma x4 are greater than or equal to 0 now sec uh, next necessary changes required is when all the constraints are not in right direction as per the objective function cases then convert the constraints as per the objective function cases by multiplying it by minus 1 objective function here is maximal case z is equal to 5x1 plus 2x2 and in this particular problem which are the subject constraint the second constraint is not as per the case of the objective function as we have seen in earlier slide that is for slide number 4 all the constraint should be of a particular left uh, particular direction as per the case for the maximal case left hand side should be less than or equal to right hand side but we are observing that given that it is of maximized case here the 
left hand side is greater than or equal to right hand side to convert it into the standard form i have to multiply it by minus one now after multiplying it by the minus one the newly obtained constant is minus 5x1 minus 2x2 less than or equal to 10 and this is a standard form uh, standard uh, form of constant required for the particular lpp according to its case now ne next necessary changes which is required is for if the constraints involve an in, uh, an equality equation then to obtain the inequality equation it is required to replace it by the pairs of inequality equations in the opposite direction or in this particular present problem the second constraint is of equality equation up till now we have seen the all the problem of lpp which is having the constraints of inequality form but here in this particular problem we are we are observing that the second constraint is of equality to convert this is uh, uh, second equation in the standard form we have to replace it by the two new equations this is two newly obtained equations that are 5x1 plus 2x2 greater than or equal to 10 and the second uh, is 5x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 10 these are the two newly obtained variables which are uh, which are in inequality form now after replacing it again this is a second constraint which is not according to the case as in earlier slide we have seen that we have to uh, convert the particular constraints according to the case means in slide number four we are saying that the particular if it is of maximized case left hand side should be of less than greater uh, less than or equal to right hand side so it is not as per the requirement so to convert this particular second constraint in the standard form multiply again it by minus one now after multiplying it by the minus one as shown here minus one multiply by this particular exponent plus 2x2 greater than or equal to minus 1 into 10 the newly obtained will be minus 5x1 minus 2x2 greater than or equal to 10 and this constraints is a newly obtained constraint as per the standard this is a newly obtained LPP which can be solved now last point which is required to see that if the primal LPP contain n non-negative variables and m set of constraint then in the dual LPP we should see that we, or we observe that m non-negative variables and the n set of constraints are present for example I am showing you if in the primal problem n non-negative variables are there then in the dual there will be n set of constraints means three variables it will convert into three constraints now point to remember is what after converting of the particular primal problem to the dual one this is an example it is of maximized case which is converted into the minimized case here in the maximized case we are seeing two variables but in the dual we are observing the three variables as we are saying said that in the primal if there are two variables there will be uh, three uh, you can say two constraints in the particular dual problem and if in the primal there are three constraints there will be three variables in the dual here x1 and x2 are there this here y1 y2 y3 means this two here in the two variables in the primal now it is converted to three variables in the dual one and here there are three constraints in the particular prim primal problem now here here we are observing that there are two variables uh, sorry two uh, constraints in the particular dual one this is the necessary changes we, which we should be there in the particular problem according to the case now let us select the correct answer for this particular mcq hope so you have selected the correct answer which are showing here these are the references for the today's session. Thank you.